what qualifies a person to be president of the United States? Well, I want to look at some scriptures here that gives us a good clue. 1 Timothy 3 and verse 1 says, This is a true saying, if a man desires the, also, uh, the office excuse me, of a bishop, he desires a good work. Now, the word bishop means superintendent. It means person in charge. And so a president is in charge of running a nation. So we have some instructions here from the Bible about what would qualify a person to be the president of the United States. Well, it says in 1 Timothy 3 and verse 2, it says, A bishop then must be blameless. Uh-oh, let's just stop right there. Your leader should be blameless. Your politicians should be blameless. Now, is, is that even possible? Well, you know, I was just thinking about this. When Ronald Reagan was president, before he became president, he used to be a movie star. And I thought it was interesting that they never, the media, the liberal media, never uncovered some kind of garbage on him about this affair, that affair. I mean, I think the man had character myself. I think he had a lot of good character because they never uncovered some kind of dirty laundry as far as, and think about it, he was in Hollywood and they never was able to, to turn up something nasty, you know, about him. But, you know, you, in other words, you never heard anything about, well, you know, uh, having oral sex in the White House with young interns. I mean, that's what we heard, at least during the uh, Clinton administration, having oral sex in the White House with young interns. The man should have been impeached. Okay, let's continue on. It says, the husband of one wife. This is, this is the qualifiers we're talking about for being president of the United States. We're using this, which is referring to bishops, leadership in the church, but we're going to apply it to the president of the, of the United States. The husband of one wife, it says. Not a man whore, okay? If your leader is a man whore, that's, that's a problem. Uh, if the man whore's wife decides to run for president, that's also a problem. Have you ever seen these gentlemen clubs? Why do they call them gentlemen's club? There's not a gentleman in there. They are man whore clubs. Why would a wife support that? Why would a wife support their man going to one of these gentlemen clubs? You ever heard that song, Stand By Your Man? I can't do it. Okay. Stand by your man. I can't do it. Okay. But it was the stupidest song I've ever heard. Listen, if your man is a man whore, you're not supposed to stand by him. Standing by him makes you look like an idiot. If you're standing by, if you're a woman and you're standing behind your man whore, it makes you look stupid. Okay. So what qualifies a person for being president of the United States. Well, continue on. Here's this. Vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. You know, a leader should be able to teach. Did you see that little clip of Obama when his uh, teleprompter quit working? He became a blithering, stuttering buffoon. He couldn't even put two words together. And all I've ever heard is, oh, what a great speech maker, what a great speech he gives. Well, okay, take away his teleprompter and see how great it is. It was unreal. You ought to look that up on, on uh, YouTube videos, uh, uh, him trying to speak with, when his teleprompter just blacked out or something. It, it, was, uh, it, was, it was unreal. I couldn't believe it. 1 Timothy 3 and verse 3, Not given to wine, no striker, not greedy, a filthy of, of money, let's say, but patient, not a brawler, uh, not covetous. Uh, now, okay, so a leader is not to be about okay, just for the money. Okay, I'm just in it for the money. It would be nice if he had his own money. Okay, yeah, well, actually it would. 